there. Anyway, we promised Tremont Williams would be joining us again. We talked to A.J. Hawk earlier. Hard to see him in a different uniform, having spent nine years in Green Bay. Tremont Williams spent eight years in Green Bay, and he moves on now to Cleveland. We get a chance to chat with him as he joins us. Tremont, Bruce Murray, Rich Gannon, thanks for being with us. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. What about you guys? Tremont, we're doing well. I'm going to miss you, brother, though. I come in to do the Packer preseason games every year. Bruce and I come in to do our radio show. What's going on, brother? You know, we just, it's funny, yeah. it's how ironic. We just had A.J. Hawk on earlier in, the, earlier in the day, and, of course, both you guys leave. Uh, of course, both head back to the great state of Ohio. And uh, But uh, just your thoughts. Obviously, it's got to be uh, bittersweet because you had some great years in Green Bay, made a lot of good friends, some great teammates, played on some terrific teams, won a Super Bowl. But uh, just your thoughts on, on moving on from Green Bay. Um. I'm, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I mean, it it was a tough process um, going through it because obviously it's a place that I've been for nine years and it's a place that I want to continue to be. You know, obviously you go to battle with guys for that long. It's not just easy to pick up and just leave like that. So um, I was bat- battling, going back and forth with myself. You know, trying to figure out what should I do, what should I do. Um, but, you know, the, the bad part about it is, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, the business always gets gets in the way of things. And kind of kind of what happened here, you know, business got in the way with things. I had a, a lot of interest from a lot of teams. And um, the process is not easy as people think it is. I, I just say that. <laughs> you well, know, um it it certainly sounds like, you know, it was a challenge for you. What what if any conversations were there with the Packers? Um you know, with the Packers it was it was kind of an on and off deal. You know, it, it was some people who I was familiar with, a great gr- group of guys who I was familiar with. Um I didn't I didn't hear from the Packers that much. You know, they they would check in here and there, you know, they did express to me that they wanted me back. But you know, um, hearing from different teams, hearing from other people, GMs, hearing from head coaches and in position coaches, guys who coming after you. I didn't, I didn't quite get that from from the team that I've been with for nine years. So it kind of set into me like maybe, maybe it's just maybe it's time for me to move on. That's what I was saying to myself. And um, was that you know, surprising? Over- was that surprising and disappointing at the same time? It was. Like I said, it was one of the things that, that I battled with. You know, um, they did say that they want me back, but at the same time, um, I don't know how much they showed it. So, um, you know, I had to be open to moving on. And um, obviously, I went to Cleveland. Um, I went on another visit to New Orleans, but um, I kind of felt good in Cleveland. You know, I, I felt that it, that it would be a good place for my family. Um you know, I talked to the coaches. The coaches, they really wanted me there. Um, I felt that it was a good scheme. I felt that um, the defense and the team is starting to go in the right direction. And I thought it would be a good place for me to be. And um, I think it still is. I think I made the right decision. And I'm, I'm happy to be a Cleveland Brown at this point. You know, you look at the secondary, I think it's a defensive strength. You know, they got – uh, a lot of talent there. Of course, Joe Hayden's been a pro bowler. How about them last year drafting Justin Gilbert? Any reservations there, Tremont? You, you know that he struggled a little bit uh, you know, as a rookie, and uh, but he was a first-round pick. Any reservations in terms of going to Cleveland, knowing that they tied up a first-round pick the year before on Justin Gilbert? Not at all, man. Um I mean, obviously, when you go into those situations, you're aware of everything that you're going into. I was aware of that. Um, I talked to the coaches. Um, you know, they, they, they wouldn't shy away from it. Obviously, they um, they drafted the guy first round. But, um, you know, they let me know why they wanted me there. You know, obviously, I've been a guy who's been doing it for a long time. And uh, they felt that I can help the defense, so. Um, not not just as far as a player, but as far as a leader. And I feel that I can do that. I feel that I can go there and do that. Whichever role they ask me to play, obviously that's what I will play. Um, and I'll be happy to do it. But at the same time, obviously I'm going to go there and be the best player I can for them and make them a better team. 
Tremont, you, you, you said you were comfortable in Cleveland, and obviously your only concern is the, uh, the defense on that football team. But it, you've been part of an organization for so long that if nothing else had stability, especially at the quarterback position, whether it was Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, and, and now you move to an organization which I know you're aware of because you've been around this league long enough to know that there always seems to be some level of uncertainty there. So that, that comfort level, how concerned do you are with what seems to be the instability of that organization over the last few years? You know what? From what I see, I, I see an organization that's going in the right direction, first of all. Um, second of all, as far as the defense, um, you know, it's it, – it's a, a a pedigree of guys who been in some great defenses over the years. And if you look at the statistics, um, you know, uh, from Coach Mike Patton, the Rex Ryans, um, and the Baltimore defenses, all, all that's the same thing. So those guys are from the same system. And that defense has been really good for the past 10 years. And um, I don't think it's going to get no worse at all. I think it's going to get better at this point. So I think it's, I think the answer to your question is that we can have a defense that can dominate and keep us in the game, and that's the way that we're going to play football there in Cleveland. What's your What's your plan? I mean, I you know you're obviously the new guy. Your Your, your thoughts just in terms of getting to Cleveland, starting the off season program together. How excited are you to kind of get in the weight room and get out on the practice field and get get in you know get started in the OTAs and get to know. Jim O'Neill, defensive coordinator, a little bit more of an intimate level. How anxious are you to just get back to work? I'm I'm very anxious. Um, like I said, I got a chance to meet with those guys briefly for the visit when I was there, and I can tell that they're a fun group of guys, not just uh, coaches but the players. You know, I heard from a couple of players uh, throughout the process, and um, – you know, obviously, it made me feel that much more at home. So to get out there and, and make it out to the uh, off-season workout, to get acquainted with some of the guys, get acquainted with the coaches, get acquainted with the playbook, um, is going to be vital in my part. And uh, like you said, I mean, I can't wait to get there and do it. How much do you know about uh, any of the coaching staff, whether it's Jim O'Neill or Mike Pettin, you know, the guys that you'll be working with? So when I met with those guys, I feel like I, I know a lot about them. They they seem like a fun bunch of coaches, the guys who understand the game of football. And when you got guys like that in your corner who's going to go out and fight for you every day and put you in the best situation, um, it's going to be fun going to work, let's just say that. Last one for me. We, we asked A.J. the same question. I mean, how difficult – is it to get over that last game? I mean, just, you know, you think about how close, you think about really the momentum swing. You guys really played a terrific game for the first 55 minutes, and then all of a sudden things began to unravel. Just just watching them advance, how how difficult was that? And, and do you still think about it? It was tough, man. I, I ain't going to lie to you. It was it was a tough deal um, from the simple fact of, of what you said. I mean, we played such a great game, though pretty much the whole game in, in the last five minutes, it unraveled. And when it was unraveling, it wasn't like it just unraveled. Um, you can actually feel it on the sideline, how it was unraveling. And um, that was the tough part about it. We knew that we had the team to do it. We knew we should have did it, but it just didn't happen. And um, for it to go down like it did, uh, it makes it that much tougher. And, yeah, you still think about it from time to time, but, as time goes on, like everyone said, all wounds heal with time. So, um, at this place, I'm in a I'm in a good place with it. Uh, I w- I would have hoped that we took care of business, but we didn't. But I'm in a good place with it at this point. Well, it sounds like you're ready to start that next chapter in Cleveland, Tremont. Listen, thanks uh, very much. Appreciate the time. Best of luck as you start working with your new football team. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me.